hi everyone this is Srinivas. So, welcome to Narasha Technologies. In this video, so I am going to explain what type of elements we can store into the tuple. In the last video, I have given the introduction to tuple. Here, tuple is allowed to store mutable and immutable objects. First of all, tuple is immutable, it is nothing but constant. So, that we have seen in the last video. So, nothing but once tuple has been created, tuple has been created cannot be modified, cannot be modified, it is like a constant. Now, what type of variables we can store? Tuple allowed, allowed to store both mutable and immutable objects. So, what are the examples of a mutable objects? The simple example we have seen in a previous videos list. So, what are the examples of immutable? For example, integer, integer object like a string object and of course, the tuple object, tuple all these are comes under immutable objects. So, now, so I am storing here as we are opening the IDLE whenever we are creating the tuple. For example, t equal to some values we are storing 10, 20, 30. We know that we are representing with parenthesis, but whenever we check how many functions are present in the tuple only just 2 count and index because modification functions removed. But inside the tuple, if I am storing 10 and 20 are immutable objects. Next, a mutable object I am taking. 30, 40 list, list is nothing but t of 2 is a list 30, 40. Sir, whenever we store the values, nothing but whenever we store the element list inside the tuple, can we modify that list is the question. Yes, we can. Tuple you cannot modify, but the list you can modify. So, here whenever we specify like a t of 2 dot t of 2 dot. Now, look at this append function is there. Here it is a suppose a 50 I am adding whenever we are checking like a print of t tuple 30, 40, 50 and it is like a t of 2 dot remove of 30, remove of 30 and next whenever we are printing this t 30 remove. So, so, whenever we are storing a list inside the tuple, that list you can modify, tuple you cannot modify. Sir, how can we say that then? Tuple elements are constant elements, tuple elements are constant elements, nothing but address will be stored, address here. Whenever we are storing the address t tuple, here it is a Suppose 10, 20 get memory, 10, 20 of course, not values directly, we know that objects. Next here we are creating one list at some location that list will be created like address suppose that address will be stored here. This is constant that you cannot modify, we know that because sir here it is whenever we modify the list address will change, no only the list will modify, you can add elements, you can remove elements, whatever you do, list is a mutable, list is mutable, hence address, address remains unchanged, nothing but remains constant. If it is a immutable object, you cannot modify, if you want to modify another object you can create, but in this situation in a mutable situation you can modify that list, but base address will not change. So, that address is nothing but a constant, that address is like that constant as an element in the tuple. This is how memory will be allocated. So, once again here it is a the simple difference, the simple difference list is mutable, list is allowed to store, allowed to store mutable and immutable elements 
and here it is a tuple is immutable and tuple is allowed to store allowed to store mutable and immutable elements both we can store mutable elements we can store immutable elements also we can store both we can store that is the simple difference between list and tuple remaining functionality is a same and we are creating the object tuple object through constructor also for example we are creating first we are creating one list suppose l i equal to some list 10 20 30 40 50 that is whenever tuple object we are creating t equal to just tuple constructor we are calling and we are passing that list whenever we display that tuple look at this this list will be converted into tuple it is representing with a parenthesis you can construct the tuple from the list but once you created you cannot modify that is okay just hope you understood so what is tuple exactly in the next video i'll explain what is a set collection type in python okay thank you mm -hmm.